Hi, this is Erin from MCP Actions. Today I'm going to show you how to order, download, and unzip products from our website. Let's say that I want to download MCP's Mini Fusion Free Action for Photoshop Elements. In the search box, I'm going to type Mini Fusion and click the Go button. Now you can find our products in many ways. You can just browse or you can use the search box to get to them directly. Mini Fusion is a free action. I'm going to click on it. And note that the quantity box is empty. So if you want to order an action, whether it's free or paid for, you need to make sure and add a quantity of one to this field. After adding the quantity, you will be directed to your shopping cart where you click proceed to checkout. If you have an account already with MCP, you'll log in using this prompt. If not, you'll register to create an account by starting with the continue button right here. So I'm going to type in my email address and password and hit continue. And now it's showing you my billing address. Even though this is a free product and the products don't get sent to you by snail mail regardless, I am going to confirm that the billing address is right and hit continue. And this option here is what you click if you are only ordering free products. If you're purchasing products, you would select pay with PayPal or a credit card. And so now here is the confirmation of what I'm ordering going to click on the terms of service to agree to them and then place my order. Once the order has been placed, I will be immediately redirected to this website. In order to download the product, I am going to go right here to my downloadable products. This is a clickable link. And when I click on it, you can see a list of all the products I've ever ordered from MCP. To download the products, I simply click on the word download, and this is going to happen quickly, so keep your eyes open. The product will automatically download, and on my computer, you will see that happening down in this bottom left corner, and the product will immediately go into my download, so I'll show you that after it happens. Clicking on download, you can see the file. So after the product downloads, you can see that it appears right here on my computer anyway in my downloads folder. Now after you order that product from us, there are a couple of other ways to download it from our website. Immediately after you order or pay for the product, you'll receive an email from us that looks something like this. Notice that you'll have the items listed that you ordered and next to each one you'll have a download link. Clicking on that link will direct you to our website for you to log in if you're not already. And then take you again to my downloadable products where you would just hit download. Now, if you're already logged into our website, you might be able just to click the download button and it will automatically download onto your computer as you might have just seen it doing there. Finally, if you've lost the email and you didn't download the product immediately after purchase, or if you need to re-download it because you've gotten a new computer, your computer crashed for whatever reason, you can always go to our website and log into your account using this link. You'll be directed to log in. And then you can access all your downloadable products over here from the menu on the left. And right here I'm back to this downloadable products page where I can simply hit the download button and start the process from there. Now that you've got the product downloaded onto your computer by one of those three methods, we're going to go back to our downloads folder and talk about locating the products after you've downloaded them on your computer and how to unzip them and what to do with them next. So this is the downloads folder on my computer. You can see the MCP Mini Fusion for elements that I just downloaded right here. Um, Macs and PCs both have the downloads folder. 
odds are that this is where your action or a preset or texture products will go as well. If not, it's going to go to a location that your computer has previously been programmed to store these downloaded files in. Now, on my computer, you can see that I've got two files for Minifusion. This is a zip file. This is the original format that it's downloaded in. On my computer, my zip files unzip automatically. Now, on your computer, that might or might not happen. On my computer, when I unzip a file, it stays in the same folder as the original zipped file. On other computers, you might find the unzipped version in your documents file or somewhere else. Again, this would be based on the original setup of your computer. The first time you unzipped a file, you might have specified that all zip files extract into one location or another. Um, if you can't find it, simply use your search box. And this search box works both on PCs and Macs. So to use the search box, you simply type the name of the action that you're looking for, like in this case I would type Fusion, and it would return a list showing me all the places that Fusion appears on my computer. And so that's the easiest way to find downloads if you don't know where they're going initially. Once you have downloaded and unzipped the product from us, you'll see that there are various file types inside it. For most of our products, you're going to have the actual files. So they might look something like this, just an action file. If you have downloaded a product for Elements, you could have several different files. Um, Lightroom presets have lots of files as well. Um, you might have files for different versions of Elements, Photoshop, or Lightroom. You're also going to have our Terms of Use document and documents related to installing and using your actions, presets, or textures in Photoshop Elements.